hey guys welcome back to my channel this is shanike welcome to the first episode of showcase your space now i am so thrilled that a few persons my riders my day one people sent me their photos um, that they need help with you know giving them ideas in order to make their living space a lot more comfortable and look more appealing talking about only two of the photos that i received one of them is a bedroom and the other one is a living room remember to subscribe remember to send me your photo to the email at skl.showcaseyourspace at gmail.com i'll put all the information in the description box if you want to be featured please send in your photos to the email let me just say this this is not a show where i'm going to be bashing anybody i don't care what your living conditions is I know a lot of people need help. They need guidance in terms of, you know, how to make their homes very comfortable and look appealing and so on and so forth. And I'm just here to help, to be honest. I'm not here to bash anybody. So don't feel, if you want to send in your photos anonymously, that can be arranged as well. Um, so don't feel like you're out of place. I don't feel like, oh, I can't show my place or whatever because it's not up to scratch right if you need help just holler at me if you want to do it anonymously it's perfectly fine as well i'll put all the information in the description box for you guys jump right into it so the first um person her name is raphia and this is raphia's bedroom and i'm going to show you all the before pictures of her bedroom so you guys can get an idea of what we're working with here all right, so the first picture you're looking at at this moment is basically her bedroom, what her bedroom looks like. Just a glance of it from outside of her door. The second pic is a closer pic of her bed. Her walls are bare and basically there's nothing on the walls and there's just a chair and the pillows. Next photo is a picture of her room from the other side where she's showing the, the curtain. Um, she have a mirror. She has a mirror on the floor and there's partially, you can see partially that there's a plant there as well. This photo is showing her chest of drawers, her TV, um, all the stuff that you have on top of her chest of drawers. She have a plant in the corner, a snake plant actually in the corner of her bedroom and another photo is her showing me this side where the chair is and another photo is this photo is you know a closer picture of her window with the curtain and the mirror this picture i kind of did a little mock-up of what i think her bedroom would look like if it is that she made these changes um, bear in mind that everything that i mentioned in here in the video the curtains the picture frames you know so on and so forth if you like those things if you like what you're looking at i'm going to be linking everything that i mentioned in the description box so you can go ahead and shop them if it is that you would like so the first picture that you're looking at is basically um, is a curtain and this curtain I think it's um, it's an Ikea curtain that I have in my bedroom currently Really really love this curtain. So I highly recommend it and what I did also um, is I put the picture frame the side of the curtains because she had this blank space um, as you can see in the picture I don't particularly like the blue curtain. I feel like a light and airy look um, drawing a light and airy look to her space and the cream curtain or maybe a white curtain would actually make it look more light i'm not sure what the color of her walls is kind of look like a grayish color for the color of her walls that's what i noticed i'm not really sure kind of also look like a light blue as well i guess it depends on how the picture was taken um, so i can't really tell if it's a very light gray I'm not opposed to the very light color paint that she has, which if it's gray or if it's a very light blue, I feel like if it is that she pull the curtains and you draw the curtains and so there will bring a lot of light into the space with a lighter color as opposed to a darker color room. So these picture frames, um, these paintings that you're seeing on the side of this image, basically paintings that I have in my house and I have them on my SK Market page. 
you can visit my SK Market page on Instagram and you'll see them. So I thought they'd look really cute in her bedroom, side by side, on either side of the, the curtain. Um, the curtain, um, I was thinking that she could probably um, take the curtain to the highest height, but then I realized that she has a um, air conditioner in at the top there so she cannot go as high as I'd like to place her curtain wrong and this curtain I think it's a 57 by 96 in length so it's very very long moving on to the next photo um, what I'd also add is I'd add night stands to both sides of her bed basically the night stands would add a little bit of you know oomph to her bedroom Particularly this color, I wouldn't go with this color because I don't think this color matches the her furniture. I definitely get a color um, that matches the furniture in her bedroom. But I like this design, this one draw thing, and she can actually put anything that she wants on top of it. She can put a picture frame on it. She can put a candle on it. She can put flowers on it. On top of it, she can also have like a charging station for her um, devices as well on top of her nightstand. Number five is basically her or her standing at the, the door looking into her bedroom and she's probably looking at her bedroom like, yo, my bedroom look really good because guess what? She changed out the sheets, you know, she added a duvet, a quilt, she added some pillows, some throw pillows, um, you know, she fluffed it up and thing. I added these two mounting lamps basically. So if you notice that I could have added a, a lamp to her bedside table but I feel like she'd probably need her bed like bedside table for a lot more things than um, what you have going on here. So I feel like this is so modern type of thing where you can mount the lamp on the wall and I really love that effect. Actually would love to do that in my bedroom right now but I'm I'm at a rental and I'm not sure if um, how it would work. I don't know if it's just to screw it in and just plug it into an um, electrical outlet or what. I'm not sure what it is, but I definitely mount this. And bear in mind that her home is owned. So as opposed to me, I'm renting her home is owned. So she can basically make all the changes that she really wants to make to her home because it's her home, right? And big up yourself, girl, for owning your own home. Um, I want to be like you when I grow up <laughs> Yeah, so definitely these lamps these mountain lamps. I, I, I'm loving the vibe It's also cream kind of brings a little bit more light into her room because the curtains are cream You know the lights the light fixtures are um, cream her duvet is white I definitely go with a white duvet because yeah it's just the whole vibe of it all and of course i have another night table on the other side of her bed to give the whole look balance so this is basically overall what her bed would or bedroom would look like if it is that she add the lamps on the side mounting the lamps on the side and also adding the night table the next clip that you're looking at um she had the standing mirror on the side of her window and i didn't like that and as you can see that the 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 standing mirror is broke um so my i have a standing mirror in my house that was broken and last year i believe or maybe the year before i found out that i can get it replaced so what i did i went to this um a place in mandeville that does um cutting off mirrors and glass and they replaced it and i think it was probably like four thousand or three thousand something dollars to replace the mirror so um raffia i recommend that you can also change the if you want just change the mirror overall um the standing mirror you can do that but you can also replace the mirror at a, a very small cost so i definitely replace the mirror what I'd also do, I'd take the mirror off the floor and put it into this little corner here. Um, this corner in my house, just showing you guys what my corner in my house look like with my mirror. It's not a full length mirror. And so what I did was prop it up on a, a box in order to get a, a length out of it. And I also added her plant. This plant that she have in the corner here, she can easily add it right at the front beside her mirror, just as how I have it in my bedroom and i really love that little corner in my house because then 
I don't necessarily have to spend maybe forty thousand dollars on getting a standing mirror. You know, a very like maybe a six foot mirror. Instead, I just use the one that I have, prop it up on something, or she could even mount it on the wall because I feel like this is the space that you have here beside the chest of draw and the corner of her wall. She could definitely fit the mirror in that corner. So I could eat. She could either mount it on the wall or she can prop it up. I definitely do that for that section and then put the the um the snake plant that you have which i like the plant i like the vase that the snake plant is in it's very cute and she can easily put that right at the side like how i have it in my bedroom on top of the chest of drawer now what i do with the top of the chest of drawer i have like different trays in my house and they have some little trays that you can put like your lotion your perfume and so and organize them on the tray so that's what i do to organize the top of the chest of drawer and if it is that you can probably declutter some of those things or the smaller things that you can find a drawer to put them in or a storage area that you could put them in that that the top of the chest of drawer doesn't look that much cluttered and another thing cables that you have behind the tv running um, one of the ways that I use in my house and even in my business um, is to hide the cords. I use a trunking. They call it a trunking. Um, the trunking, no, it hides the cords and everything you don't want to show. And you can basically use it in any area that you want to use it in. It makes it look more clean and way, way more organized. One thing I was curious about is light bulbs aren't in the center. I'd probably put some yellow lights in the bedroom instead of using white lights in the because what i find with yellow lights it gives that your bedroom or any area house that like this sexy romantic feel that's what i really really love about like yellow lights in my bedroom i have yellow lights in my bedroom right now in my lamps and i just love that yellow you know that romantic feel that i get when i turn them on like i said i'd probably change the color of the paint but if it is that the paint is a light gray which i'm assuming i'm i'm, I'm not sure what the color is but i'd probably go with a very very light color and a, and, a, and a big part of me want to say white i don't necessarily have to go with white white it can be like and off white but definitely no gardenia i am a hundred percent against gardenia and everybody know that already these are the changes and these are changes that you can make on a budget you sheet like your sheet your curtains and so can take a basic space into like and elevate it to a next level i've been going with like neutral colors um solid colors no pattern no floral and then something there i want like neutral colors and i love a good duvet i really really love a good duvet or a comforter you know that you can put on the bed but these are just my tips and my ideas i am not sure what the other side of our bedroom um looks like i can assume that um there's not much space in there but she could also if it is that you have a lot of space here she could probably if it is that you don't want to always sit on her bed she can get like one of those bean bags and put it um at the side to the left hand side of her bed um in order to have a little if it is that you don't want to always sit on a bed um and bring some comfort so yeah guys um tell me what you think in the comment what you think um are there any other changes that you'd make to her space i also thought about putting like a uh, like some maybe picture frames or some art uh, above her bed head but i am not sure at all because i already have the art um by the windows but that's also an option as well as in putting arts um behind your bed so yeah that's it for raphael's bedroom okay so moving on to bobby's living room these are bobby's um before photos of her living room so as you can see from picture number one it's just her uh, her couch and she have this painting at the top of her couch second image um, is showing us her fireplace her tv her standing vase with some flowers in there and she also have a speaker box on the floor um, next image is just the corner of her um beside her couch behind the door all right so basically the idea that i have for bobby's living room really really love what i did with the with bobby's living room like i'm absolutely obsessed and i feel like yo if we could have transformed my living room like this i would definitely do it in a heartbeat remember i told you that everything that i'm suggesting in this video 
I am putting them in the description box. As you guys can see from image one, what I did was the remove the painting on the back of her wall. You can see like the painting behind her couch was big and I don't think it kind of fit in at all. In terms of the dimensions, I think it's too big personally and I think it's up too high on the wall as well. So I removed that and I replaced it with a gallery wall. Now guys, gallery wall is basically a big deal. I love them personally. You can you can basically do anything that you want with a gallery wall. You can take photos um, of yourself or your family and you can put them in there. You can use artwork as well. So I think a gallery wall would be perfect behind her couch. And I specifically go with white frames. Um, I was thinking about doing black frames, but I don't think, I think it would get lost-ish in everything. And the color for a wall, I'm not sure what it is. And I, I don't know if it's gardenia or, or it's a light, like maybe a light white, um, like a cream color. Does not really tell me exactly what the color is. Like it's kind of light, so that's a good thing. Other side, her right side of her wall, that's beside her couch. Um, I think that blank space, I'd put a mirror there. She can either use a mirror or she can use one that she can mount on the wall. Mirrors add so much vibe to a room. It makes the space look bigger. thought that a brown one would look good, like a wooded brown mirror would look good because her theme in her living room so far is kind of like brown. So, so I feel like this brown mirror would like do so well in that corner and right beside it i guess you guys pick up gc i love the idea of like having mirror and having a plant beside it i do that in my house as well i have a section my entryway it has a mirror and it has like a live plant there if it's that you can't care for a live plant you can also add a faux plant you can add like a big faux plant and in one on the floor um or you can just go with a regular indoor plant that you find at one of your plants shop or something I'd also, I think the rug that she has here is kind of gray. I think probably replace the area rug with maybe like a more, a lighter color that fits in with the cream and so on and so forth on the wall and the decor that I have going on here. She has this, it's a small couch. And so I thought that, you know, these bohemian um, throw pillows would be perfect. I'd go with cream. Um, I think they add so much vibe to your house. Very like it's posh little sanctuary. I think the color works well. If it is that you don't want to use creams in your house because you're afraid that they might dirty, maybe you can go with maybe a brown if you can find it. There is no living room for me if it is that we don't have a throw blanket. So I throw blanket half it in. A and I went with also a cream throw blanket. Um, I love the tassel ones and I feel like they are very comfortable as well. And you just throw that onto the side of the couch if you want to put it on the back of the couch as well that is also fine if you want to spread it um if you want to spread the throw blanket on the side of the couch here that's also fine do whatever you want to do with a throw blanket and so that little space that you have in the corner behind her door her front door i'd definitely put a lamp there now a lamp really really accentuates a room and I love that about lamps and I noticed that they are coming out with so much different type of lamps that they are so fancy. The other day I went into Maxi. Maxi has so much amazingly cute lamps, um, standing lamps for the floor, floor lamps. They are just so cute. They can they fold over to the chair. You can use them for basically wherever you want to use them in your bedroom, your living room. You know, they're just so nice. They're, um, I love the cream color. I love the wood, the wood vibe that it has on there. And it just look fancy to me, like very, very fancy. Um, so I definitely go with a lamp like this hundred percent moving on to the next picture um i was just showing you guys what the gallery wall would look like from the side it's not my best work but you guys get the gist moving on to number three picture number three as you can see the fireplace she had indicated to me read the fireplace is that she didn't want it to be crowded um anything that would maybe take away the focus from her tv so um what i had in mind for her fireplace is that she could put like um these ceramic vases and also these candles 
these geometric i think are you know geometric they'll call them candle holders very cute um gold or brass that could work on top of there as well and also like maybe a tray as you can see i like to recommend trays because whether it is that she walks into the door she doesn't really have a place like a key hanger or anything she can put her keys on the tray so i just slap that like right in the middle between the candle holder and the ceramic vase in the ceramic vase you can choose if you want to put maybe a faux um, eucalyptus plant or whatever it is nothing that is too tall to affect the tv you can drop in the ceramic vase but i love the whole cluster of ceramic vase or vase in a hole in one little area i think it's a whole whole vibe and i really like that but i definitely go with this great um gold tray on top in the middle here so she can either put her keys or whatever it is on there or, or she can put remote if it is that she have remotes and she don't have anywhere to put them she can also put the, the remote on the tree on top of her fireplace i definitely keep the vase that she have here on the floor I, I think it's very very gorgeous um and i also like the i guess the flowers or whatever the dry flowers that you have inside of it too speaker that is on the floor i definitely remove the speaker if it is that you're looking for maybe like i don't know if the speaker is connected to the tv but i go with definitely more fancy speakers and she's also a homeowner so she owns this home and um, so i would probably install speakers in the room at the top instead of this big speaker on the floor so in that corner after removing the speaker what i do i would um put this storage basket um, for like throw blankets and if you have additional pillows and stuff and you know it basically is a storage basket so you can put whatever you want in there if you want to hide things you don't want to be in your space on a regular you can definitely put that in the basket as well and it is a cream and a brown basket definitely go with the colors and the theme of the whole entire room with the decor that i recommended basically guys those are the changes i'd make to um, Bobby's a living room and I feel like these are inexpensive ways that you can transform any space at all I feel like you can definitely transform your space on a budget um, I definitely would recommend that you just look into different areas whether it is that you go to a store down the road or whatever or you look in your own home and see where you can move things around from one place to another um, in order to elevate the space make it more comfortable I'd love for you guys to let me know if you guys try any of these ideas that I'm sharing definitely leave me a comment you can shoot me a message on instagram follow me on instagram actually at sk living if you liked this video please leave me a comment thumbs up this video um share it with your friends all of that good stuff the next video that i have coming out for part two of showcase your space or episode two it's going to be a remodel um edition i have other pictures that i received but when i basically analyzed it i decided that i definitely do like a complete remodel instead of just like adding a lamp there or you know a whole remodel type of vibe so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video until next time i'll catch you in the next one bye bye